Good morning, your majesties. Welcome back to my brand new segment. I like to call Do You Want to Be Princess Peyton's Valentine? Now, I forgot to mention in yesterday's video that I am going to pick one of my subscribers to be my Valentine and I pick Erica Mez. So congratulations, Erica. You are my um, Valentine for this month you are my valentine and i have a story time uh this one is called valentine message is it gonna is it gonna be an innocent story or a scary story you guys should know me by now i'm all about scary stuff okay <laughs> okay let's go um let me bring you here just a lit okay what did I do? Um, here we go. Okay. So Valentine Message. Okay. Valentine Message is a spooky story written by a member of this website named I Scare You to Death in collaboration with Scary for Kids. It's about a teenage girl who starts receiving disturbing messages on Facebook from someone who wants to be her Valentine. Before I get into today's story, you send men, creepy men out there that are sending messages to girls, like disturbing messages, it's not gonna how you're gonna get the girl. That's not how it works, I'm sorry. You're just gonna scare them away. Don't do that, okay. Um, so it goes, uh, yes, okay. Stephanie was a normal, happy teenager who was very popular in school. She was the prettiest girl in the 11th grade, and every guy wanted to date her. However, at the age of 16, Stephanie had no experience with boys. She felt that she wasn't ready to have a boyfriend and hadn't even experienced her first kiss. One day at the start of February, Stephanie was checking her Facebook account when she received a message from somebody she didn't know. This is how it starts. It was a user who went by the name of who am I? What? Of who am I? And he had no photos of himself. Red flag number two. The who am I username is red flag number one. Um, he had no photos of himself on this profile, red flag number two, just a picture of a red rose next to a heart-shaped box of chocolates. Stephanie, you better run, girl. The message read, Stephanie, will you be my Valentine? Stephanie was a little creeped out. She had no idea who he was, so... She just replied, no thanks, and logged off. Good job, Stephanie. That's what I thought you would do. Okay. A few days later, she got another message from the mysterious user. It read, Stephanie, I like you. Please be my Valentine. Stephanie decided that the best thing to do was not reply. Good girl. She didn't want to encourage him so she just deleted the message and tried to put it out of her mind. However, when Valentine's Day arrived, Stephanie checked her Facebook account and found another message waiting for her. Um, dude, she doesn't want to talk to you. Leave her alone. What are you doing? <laughs> it read, I don't just like you. I love you. I want you to be my Valentine. Whatever, dude. At this point, Stephanie feared that she had a stalker on her hands. She wanted to end this embarrassment once and for all. So she sent an angry reply. Look, whoever you are, I'm not interested. She wrote, how could you be in love with me? You've probably never even met me. You're obviously some sad, lonely, ugly, disgusting, repulsive loser who has too much time on his hands, get get this into your thick head, you creep. I don't like you, I hate you, and I will never be your val valentine. 
Good girl, Stephanie. Then 30 seconds later, she received another message. We'll see about that. It read, when I come to your house tonight, what? When I come to your house tonight, I'll make you my Valentine. Oh, hey. no, 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 no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Stephanie was terrified. Her parents were out of town. Oh, come on, really? Uh, Stephanie was terrified. Her parents were out of town and they wouldn't be back for days. She called her friend Stacy, I'm sorry, not Stacy, Tracy, and told her about the disturbing messages. Tracy offered to come over that night and keep her company. She said she would bring her brother Jake with her. Jake owns a rifle and often goes hunting with my dad. She said he she said he's a crack shot. If anything happens, he'll be able to protect us. Yes. <laughs> that evening, just as it was growing dark, Tracy and her brother finally arrived. Stephanie was overjoyed to see them and ushered them inside. They turned off all the lights in the house and made sure all the doors and windows were securely locked. Jake crouched down in the dark in the darkened hallway. His rusty I'm sorry, his trusty rifle by his side. He positioned himself directly opposite directly opposite the front door and aimed his rifle ready to shoot anyone who tried to get in. You better, uh, you girls better wait upstairs. He said, don't worry about the thing. If this jerk turns up, he'll have to get through me first. I love this kid. Tracy and Stephanie ran up the stairs, barricaded themselves in the bedroom. Sitting in the darkness, they passed the time by playing games on Tracy's phone. Suddenly, they heard the sound of the front door opening. Uh-oh. Um, the girls froze. Three gunshots rang out. Bang, bang, bang! Followed, followed by an eerie silence. Stephanie and Tracy sat on the bed, too scared to say a word. Their hearts were beating fast, and they were almost afraid to breathe. The tension was unbearable. Oh man, poor girls, not poor guy, poor, poor girls, but poor guy for Jake too, but honest, okay. Um, after a while, they heard a soft voice outside the bedroom door whispering, Stephanie, Stephanie. The girls were clenching each other, trembling in fear. Stephanie struggled to speak. Is he dead? She whispered. Suddenly, the door burst open and a dark figure stepped into the room. Tracy turned on the flashlight and shined it in the figure's face. It was an old man with wrinkled skin and a bald head and a long white beard. Yeah, he's dead, the man chuckled. Then he pulled out a meat cleaver and with one mighty swing, he sliced off Tracy's head. Oh, hell no. Stephanie felt her friend's blood splash against her cheek. She screamed in horror and fell to her knees. Why? Why? She cried. Why are you doing this to me? The man raised the clever above his head and brought it, oh, and brought it crash, crashing down splitting Stephanie's head in two. Because you're my Valentine, he replied. I scare you to death, says, since it's Valentine's Day, here's a little story. Will you be my Valentine? Hope it gets posted. You can remove the R uh, three number signs part of it if you want and change it to he killed her. 
Scary for Kids say, I did a lot of work on this because I liked your original idea and I thought it had a lot of potential. However, I think it needs to be developed more. Build up, build up the plot more, add more tension, etc. Also, yeah, I had to change the R bit to kill. Oh, that word. So, like, wait, is that what he's talking about? Oh, okay. Um, I had to change the rape word bit to killed. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I had no idea, are you serious? Oh my gosh. I just never seen this before, you know? Like I, I've never seen, um, and, and what I mean is, I don't, I've never seen a word, like a, the, like a, like a intense word, um, spelled with like three, um, uh, phone number signs. You know what I mean? Like when you, you know, um, yeah, I, I've never seen a word that, written like that well i've seen you know shit written like that you know like the like when people um swear in a text but they don't want to say the the word flat out they want to like try to keep it classy by putting the s h and instead of the i and instead of the i they put the the number sign thing yeah that's what yeah i've never i I've seen that, but I've never seen that word before. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty. And hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart. And the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.